Marie Franz, great to see you. Uh, see you. <laughs> and here at the Skate Canada uh, training camp, how has summer training gone for you? You obviously now have Olympic champions, Tessa Virtue and Scott Moyer, as well as the world champions from France in your, in your camp. What does that feel like? What kind of a summer has it been? Well, it's been really busy, <laughs> really busy summer. Um, I think we've all worked, me and my, uh, I mean myself, Patrice and Rame, probably 10 hours a day the whole summer. But I think we, ha we did some really good work. Our skaters did amazing work. They proved and, and trained and programs are, you know, they're oh, they're done now. It's time to change them and make them better. But everybody has, I think, great vehicles and different from one <laughs> to the other. So mm -hmm. I'm really happy with myself. Okay. And Virtue and Moyer's uh, short dance and free dance. Can you talk about it? Talk sure, about them. I can talk about it. So <laughs> <laughs> for the short dance, we chose to do uh, hip hop on Prince uh, music. Kiss from Prince, so they're gonna do a hip hop on that, and then we found a very cool blues by Prince as well that that I love, and we finished with uh, the solo guitar of Purple Rain, so it's a really nice edit. It flows well, and I think it suits their their style and their their skating to to perfection. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And the free dance? The free dance, we did a, a theme on second chances. So it's very lyrical and it has a little bit of sadness to it at the beginning and then it became, becomes a little bit more joyful and at the end it's full commitment to being happy and, and going with, with life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How much inspiration do you need to choreograph all of these top programs. Do you have sort of a bottomless pit of it? Or what does that look I like? Wish. <laughs> well, actually, a lot of the inspiration comes from watching these fabulous skaters skate. Like, you know, I'm, I'm looking for stuff, but then as I watch them and as I listen to music, it just all comes up to me because I just have to look and just be inspired by who they are and how they move and it just at one point becomes a program. <laughs> mm -hmm. So um, I'm very inspired by them all. Uh, I'm lucky to be training fabulous dancers and skaters and and they inspire me every day to be better at what I do. Right. Now when Virtue and Moyer finished, well, f completed the Olympics in 2014, there was, there was some talk that they felt that perhaps their last coaching camp wasn't giving them necessarily the best material or the, the top sort of coaching because of Davis and White and having two incredible teams in one training center. Is that something that you're sort of mindful of and how do you make sure that you're you know, providing enough attention and coaching to both you know, the world champions and, and Virtue and Moyer and, and ensuring that you're not spreading yourself too thin? Well, I think uh, there was many layers to their disappointment in 2014, or, and now they're just rewriting their last chapter. Uh, they're more mature, and they're now real, gro really growing into career athletes. They're, you know, they're getting more knowledge about training and, and a lot of different layers in in becoming, you know, uh, an Olympic athlete. So um, they have a full off ice team, uh, and uh, so does Gabby and Guillaume. So everybody has their own off ice team and people to support them being at the top. And then when they're together on the ice, uh, they have fun. They cheer for each other, and they're really good, you know, really good training mates. So 
for us, it's been, uh, we were a little bit worried about it at first, but then knowing each of them and how generous they are as people and, uh, and both of these teams, I mean, they're champions and they know that it comes down to them and how they train and how good they take care of their, uh, you know, physical health, mental health, everything. Mm -hmm. If everything goes as planned, then they'll be at the best level they can be. So they, I think both of these teams are champions enough to know they have to rely on them, their, their own self mm -hmm. <laughs> to be at the top of their game. Mm -hmm. Last question, what have you learned about yourself now coaching both of these top teams? What do I learn about myself? I learn about myself every day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, share with <laughs> through us. Co through coaching these great teams, and I also learn about myself through my daughter, my little five-year-old that, you know, when she sees me tired or she sees me stressed or I'm looking for music, she always comes up with little wisdom phrases that makes me realize that I'm one of the luckiest person in the world. <laughs> great. Thank you very much, and good luck this season. Thank you.